So I have a theory and that is if you are a complete man and you've got your life in order and your head screwed on, women, for the most part, they don't want you. Do you know why? Because you have no issues for them to fix. You see, they like problematic men because it's something for them to focus on because they're taking their eyes off of their own issues. So the title of this one will be, if you are a good man, they still don't want you. Mad. Now, I only watched up to about two minutes of this video and I thought, you know what, let me react to it because I wasn't even planning on reacting to this video. I just stumbled across it. Go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? So my name is Jairus Williams. Jairus? Jairus Williams. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 26. 26, and what do you do? So I'm a Marine vet, and I'm a Christian recording artist. I sing. Nice. Well, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I love the water. I'm a water baby, so. Okay. Uh, you know, I was, um, I'm the only home birth out of uh, all eight children. Wow. So um, I love the water because I was born in the water. So okay. I'm a little fishy, you know. <laughs> I'm a little swimmer, you know what I mean? Okay. So. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, she got to be God-fearing for sure. Um, and she got to be kind. Mm -hmm. She got to be gentle. She got to be loving. And uh, she also got to support her man okay. in everything that he do, just like I'm going to support you in everything that you do. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, somebody who's not willing. Um, somebody who's not obedient. Yeah. To listen, willing to learn, um, willing to grow in their relationship with God. I understand that some people may not know who God is or never have an experience with God. But if you're willing, like God expects us to be, I can rock with that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. so we, <laughs> we did get a, a pop balloon. That's all right. Let's head on over there and see why she ended up popping. Hello, if we can start off with your name and age. My name is Jasmine. I'm 24. Okay. And Jasmine, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I think you're very handsome, sure. you know, but it's just not really my, my type. But you're very handsome. Okay. And I love the words you spoke, so yeah. Okay. Okay. And so what makes him not really your type? Um, I... <laughs> well, I think he's really handsome. I just think... See, this is the thing. These chicks, they don't even know why they're unattracted to certain men. And I'm telling you, look, she said that he's good looking. Objectively, no homo. A man's a good looking man. If you died and came back to life and, you know, let's say there's God. Let's say God exists. God said, you can be this guy. You can look the way he looks. Or we can pick a random guy that you can't see and you have to look like him. I would pick him. Yeah? No, no homo. Yeah. So we can say that this guy is objectively good looking, no homo, yeah? And we can say he's successful. I think he said he's a marine vet, yeah? Marine vets are not on the same way as fucking Mickey from Subway to Blood Clot, yeah? So big big up George, yeah? Just got to follow. Big up man like George. So, um, yeah, Mickey is not on no... Uh, sorry, this guy is not on no shitty Subway wage and that yeah he's on a good wage and that so he's a good looking man he's got his head screwed on and he's got a decent amount of money and that yeah he, you know he earns a decent amount of money and that the reason why this chick doesn't like him the reason why this chick doesn't want him is because she sees that there's no issues this guy is a good man i'm telling you when you get to a stage in your life where you're a, a good catch you're on the right path and that Women don't want you for the most part. There will be some chicks that want you, but a lot of women will reject you because you're not a bad boy. You have nothing. You have no problems. You have nothing to fix. Women want a man that they can fix. Okay, but let's see. But you know, yeah, of course. Um, and you spoke beautiful words. I love that. You know, but it's just not really my. Um, I think maybe the girl, maybe that. Oh, I'm from Texas, so this is how we get down. Did she say? I think you need a good girl. One sec. Okay. But you're very handsome. Okay. And I love the words you spoke, so yeah. Okay. Okay. And so what makes him not really your type? Um, I... <laughs> she doesn't even know. They, they, they don't even know, like I said before, they don't even know why it's unattractive to them. Crazy. Well, I think he's really handsome. I just think that, you Thank know. You. Yeah, of course. Um, and he spoke beautiful words. And I love that, you know, but it's just not really my um, thing. I think maybe the girl, maybe that. Oh, I'm from Texas, so this is, what, this is how we get down. So. Uh, I, it, I think 
obviously, because I was reading the subtitles, but I think she said, I think you need a good girl. I believe that's what it said. But these chicks don't even know what the fuck they're attracted to. Let me ask you this question right now, yeah? I'm I'm on my man's side. I'm, I'm bigging him up. I'm saying that like, I think this guy's a decent man. If my sister came home with a man like that, I would be happy. I've got two sisters. I've got one that's my age and I've got one little one who's 12, going to be 13 soon and that. If either of them came home with a man like that, I would be happy. Yeah? So there's nothing wrong with this guy. Unless he has some deep, dark, crazy secrets where he dresses up as a flipping... Uh, you're cross-dressing, murderer or something, then yeah, no, obviously. But he seems like a good guy. She doesn't even know why the fuck she's not attracted to him. It's nice, though. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and now, is she someone that's your type? Um, she's very beautiful. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of approaching. Okay. So, um, not that I'm against it or anything like that, but she's definitely so, like, very, very beautiful. So, absolutely. All right. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 24. Hello. And um, I popped my balloon because, like my sister said, you're very handsome. You're, you know, very well. Oh, my days, there, sister. So we got two girls that don't know what the fuck they want and they're standing side by side and they're blood related. Runs in the family. Put together. Thank you for your service, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. um, it's just... Be more original. You mean thank you for your service? Nah. Like, you're not bad looking. I'm just not, like, attracted. Okay. That's fine. I actually like the girl. Yeah, she's not. So she's attracted to him physically, but who he is, how he comes across, she's not attracted to that. He's not a nerd as well. The thing is, he doesn't even come across like he's a nerd. Now, my girl made a comment. I ain't going to say, but, yeah, she said, I think she said something along the lines as well. As he, he seems, he comes across like he's soft. I mean, fuck's sake, man. Like, do, does every guy have to be a fucking kickboxing road man out here? Like, what the fuck, man? I was here, brother. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So I know you say you don't do a lot of approaching, and they are sisters, so you said you. Oh, yeah. We definitely don't do that. I'm a man of God, so. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I didn't say you approach them both. Oh. I meant saying, like, they're twins. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I know you said she was, you know. If she's ridiculed, all that Absolutely. stuff. She's someone that's your type as well. Uh, yes. Okay. Just wasn't approach. Okay. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age? Aliyah, and I'm 25. Hey, and Hello. Aliyah, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the water thing. I have a fear of the water. I can't swim to save my life, so that wouldn't be a good match for me. I can't swim. So you have a fear of the water. So you do not like the sea and you don't like swimming pools. Is that a good enough fucking reason to reject a man? Blood, these girls be coming up with any old stupid fucking reason to reject a man. Do you think if Chris Brown said he doesn't like water or he doesn't like the color pink, do you think that will stop any of these fucking chicks paying him 11? hundred to go and peace up and feel up on them me either so you, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. i'm being honest but you love the water i got a life jacket okay. i'll stay with him so i got one for you too uh, i mean well, i had one for you so. <laughs> okay. it was prepared. you prepared mm -hmm. yeah but it was the water thing it was, i thought that was like a big thing for you it was like in your lifestyle and i didn't want to be you know Intruding on that. So oh, I appreciate that. that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Okay. I mean, he said he can't swim. He got a life jacket for you. I don't know, but it seems like he want to do a lot of water activities, and I, you know, <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So she's someone that's your type. Um. Yes, yeah, she's very beautiful. I still wouldn't approach. Okay. I'm very particular. Okay. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age. I'm Asia. I'm 25. How you doing? And Asia, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, no particular reason. It's mm. just, um, I feel like not really my type. Okay. I love that what you were saying about the Lord, though, for sure. For I'm sure. With that. Okay. Yeah. What kind of makes him not really your type? A little taller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. We hear that sometimes. Exactly. You know, we can't change our height, so yeah. it's all good. Okay. You know? And how tall are you? Um, 5'10". 5'10". It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this chick looks like she's probably in heels. The fact that she's got this windy thing going up her fucking leg. And he's still got a good four inches on her while she's in heels. So that chick there is probably like five three at best. Talking about she need a taller man. It's just an excuse. Like this chick has not dated fucking no bad boy selling ten pound a wee draw who's fucking five foot eight. She's chatting shit, blood. 
guarantee you she's dated some short ass drug dealer before. <laughs> okay. It's and, all right. And now she's someone that's your type? Um, she's very attractive. Uh, still would not approach because I'm very particular. I know what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. So let's go on over here. Your name and age? Princess. I'm 23. Hey, and Princess. Hello. Princess, why did you end up hopping your balloon? Um, I would say at first it was the whole cowboy thing, but I was like, you know, that's not. But then the more I thought about it, I'm more so spiritual. I've been trying to figure out how I feel about religion. You know, I grew up Christian and into that, but I've been figuring it out myself. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you probably want someone who's already finding their self with God type type to go. Uh, not necessarily. Um, so I'm a Christian recorder. All of these fucking assumptions, but you know what it is, yeah? These chicks are making these assumptions and that and just using any excuse to disqualify him. When is one girl going to come out and tell the truth? I need a problematic bad boy. Not even necessarily a bad boy, because there are a lot of chicks out here who date bad boys and, and I get it, like, man, who are bad and rough around the edges and that. But what I'm saying is they like problematic men, yeah? So you can still get a chick... Without being a bad boy, as long as you're a problematic man that needs fixing, you have problems. They only like men that have problems. They only like men who have issues. They only like men who do not have their life together. Because look at all the chicks you know and look at the guys that they're with. Maybe one of them is with a guy that's got his life and got his head screwed on and that from the beginning. Yeah, But for the most part, these Chicks that are dating these guys, and these guys currently do not have their life together. They did not have their life together in the past, and in the future, they will not have their life together. Look at all the chicks you know, and then look at the guys they're with. Would you want to be one of them dusty ass motherfuckers? The answer is fucking no, blood. An artist. I'm a Christian man, um, but my, my debut album is called Coming Into Faith, so it's telling my testimony. Mm -hmm. I was still in the clubs. I was still drinking, smoking, partying. Um, I faced death and stuff like that multiple times, so um, I don't... Look, 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 the arousal's gone up. Ooh, ooh trouble, bad boy. Let, let's, let's see. I wonder if that girl in the red dress, the one with the heels, reacted to it one sec. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you probably want someone who's already... Maybe pay attention to the girl in the red dress, yeah? The one that rejected him before. Finding their self with God type type deal. Uh, not necessarily. Um, so I'm a Christian recording artist. I'm a Christian man. Um, but my, my debut album is called coming into faith so it's telling my testimony mm -hmm. i was still in the clubs i was still drinking smoking partying um i faced death and stuff like that multiple times so um i don't you know judge people where they are you know uh, we can grow together if that was going to be a thing you know what i mean um i just wanted somebody who was willing you know yeah you don't have it. to be like on this high level like right. super like pasta and this and that like no absolutely not okay i feel that mm-hmm Thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm 25. Hello. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you, too. You're really cute. I'm just not a fan of piercings. Oh, that's okay. That's it. I mean, yeah, just piercings. Oh, okay. I respect that. Got it. And now she's someone that's your type? Uh, she's very attractive. Um... I know I'm saying a lot of the same things, but uh, at the end of the day, I just still wouldn't approach um, not anything against you or anything. I, like I said, I know what I'm looking for, so. Respect. Mm, but you are very beautiful. I want to let you know that. Thank you. For sure. All right, let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 22. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, the reason... I just feel like more, like, close friends, you know? You're attractive. I like, I like it all, but... For sure. Yeah, I'm just getting like we can have like a real good bond. Yeah. <laughs> on the same vibes. Oh, I appreciate the friend. Um, how she said we can be close friends and things like that. But um, I'm not looking for friends right now. Um, uh, I'm looking for love. You know, somebody to marry and cherish, um, and have kids with and stuff like that. So. Understandable. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. So, my name is Paris. I'm 28. Hello. Hi. So, I popped my balloon because um, <laughs> I'm an ominous, and I don't want it to get to a point where it's just like, it becomes forceful in a situation. Like, everything you list is cool. Like, 
I'm like a person that um, I'm supportive of everything and everybody and whatever their journeys are. It's just that it's going to always be an issue. Like in the future, like when are you going to, you know, come back? And I kind of graduated from religion. So, yeah. Okay. okay. But you is handsome as fuck, though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Go. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're very beautiful. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, um, God has saved me from a lot of things. Like I said, I faced death uh, a lot of times, and um, he's the only one that brought me through. So I can sing. I have a gift to sing, and I'm very good at it. And so I gave it to the Lord, and he gave it back to me. And he said, go reach my people. I'm going to give you the message to convey. Now go convey. And I'm going to be an, I'm going to be an obedient child, and I'm going to do just that. Um, so nothing or no one can detour me from that, but I do appreciate your honesty and being up front with me. Absolutely. But um, that's just my calling, and I don't force that on anybody. Understood. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's head back this way. Okay, so that is all the balloons popped, but we do thank you very much for coming on. Let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for them, ladies. Thank you, all ladies. Thank you. I'm going to hit the comment section now, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> ladies, let's go ahead and bring up. So someone said, bring back my boy Aaron the Plumber. So that's that guy that was saying, uh, yeah, you ain't qualified. Uh, some chick said, God protecting this man. They don't want a saved man. Yeah, they don't want a man who has got his head screwed on. They popped because he's a nice guy. Nice guy, a.k.a. means a man who's got his life in order, basically. Yeah, I realised that many popped their balloons because others popped, but none of them really had a reason. Yeah, they, they don't even know why they're unattracted to him. Like, it's so crazy. How can you have a guy, yeah, that they think he's attractive and that, but they don't even know why they don't like him? I'm telling you, the reason why they don't like him is because he's got his life in order. They don't want a man that's got their, his life in order. Like I've said many times, look at the chicks look at the guys that these chicks date yeah sorry look at uh yeah the guys that these chicks date and that and you will see a lot of them most of them do not have their life in order i tell you they don't have their life in order if you died and had to be one of those guys would you want to be in the exact same position if the answer's fucking no they don't have their life in order it's not about driving a lamborghini or a maserati or whatever in it but man for have their life in order and that this generation of woman Bro, you're just not toxic enough for any of them. Keep doing you, yeah? You were so respectful, I'm lost. What's wrong with them? Mad. Yeah, so this chick saying that he is what I'm looking for. But then if she came across him, she wouldn't fucking... Uh, she, would, she would probably reject him as well. Nice guys finish. Super last. He seems like a nice guy. I guess he wasn't bad enough for them yet. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous, boy. He's so talkative. I mean, what do you want him to do? Stand up there on fucking mute? You want to fucking, do you want to fucking date Charlie Ross Clark Chaplin? And you see these chicks here that are saying, what's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? I promise you, I fucking guarantee you. You see the chicks that pop their balloons? I guarantee you, if they were in the comment section and they were the viewer, I guarantee you they would be saying the same thing. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? And I guarantee you, these chicks that are saying, what's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? I guarantee you, those chicks saying that, if they were lined up, they would pop their balloons as well. That chick earlier that said, this is what I'm looking for, I guarantee you, she was lined up there, she would have popped her fucking balloon. Fucking ridiculous. No particular reason why. Crazy. And that's the thing. These chicks would rather reject this guy. Like, we know a man like that, more than likely, is going to be a good father, is going to be in his children's lives and that. They would rather reject him for a guy that, if you really looked at this guy, you know he's not going to be a good father. Of course he's not going to be a good father because he's not a good role model. He doesn't have his life in order. How can you be a... A good role model if you don't have your life in order. They would rather reject that good guy for a guy that doesn't have his life in order for him.
to make them a single mum and then complain that there's no fucking good men about. Fucking stupid. Anyway, I'm done, man.